guys, uh, just here to show you um, my latest two um, junk journal kits. So this first one, um, I'm going to try and do them both in the same video, but this first one is in an altered envelope. So it's basically a very large envelope that's been stitched on the sewing machine to create a kind of like bag really, or a sack. So it's sealed with um, just a satin ribbon that's kind of tied around and it's got lace um, stitched all around it so it's got lace here on the front it's got an opening flap and the flap also has kind of lace all stitched along it and then it's got this kind of frilly lace as well um, that's kind of been actually I think I glued that top bit this frilly bit on then it's just got a little kind of ribbony uh, tab and then it's got this fabric flower there just um, for decorative detail got some net and different fabrics and a pearl center then um, the first item kind of in the kit is this fabric tag which is kind of in this velvety kind of chenille kind of fabric it's been stitched on the sewing machine with this gorgeous fabric um, lady and then it's got some lace on the bottom and a little mulberry rose got another couple of flowers there and the word love it's got a bow and a little fabric tab and the back of it's just kind of um, stitched onto plain denim. Then you've got another one of those fabric flowers, again kind of matching this one. It's a, it's slightly different in um, kind of the composition of it, but it's the same kind of fabrics and colours. And that's just been attached with a bulb pin. So I mean, obviously, um, this actual envelope sack thing doesn't class as one of the items. Back again. Um, <laughs> don't know what's going on with my camera again. Kind of seems to be a bit of a common theme there on my videos, but it cut out again. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be okay. I've turned the light on now, so maybe it was a light issue. Um, right, so yeah, you've just got this flower here that um, attaches with a bulb pin. And obviously, I think I'm saying the sack envelope thing doesn't actually count as one of the items, but obviously you could um, deconstruct it. So you could cut this flower off, you could cut all the lace off and things like that. But the tag and this flower certainly, they're just detachable anyway with a bolt pin. So inside the envelope itself, you've got some fabric trim, which is in this gorgeous kind of duck egg blue. It's just been kind of a ruffle um, stitched on the sewing machine. I tried to kind of um, light the um, edges, you know, with a match kind of so as they weren't fraying so much because it was very fray or prone to frame fabric um, it still is a little bit I'm afraid but obviously kind of once it's stuck in your journal it would be fine because I have used fabric like this myself before it's just while you're handling it really so I've um, stitched it on the sewing machine and then I've stuck it to some cardstock to kind of make it slightly more rigid and then it's got a pearlized trim across the front so there's that and then there's this little kind of um, bag or envelope, coin envelope, um, that I've just kind of made here. And it's just got a little label on the front and it's just got one of those vintage French adverts kind of stuck on it. And inside there are some other little goodies. So inside there, there are, if I can actually get them out. Oh, I just hope I didn't go wrong when you're filming. I don't think I can actually get it out. <laughs> it does come out because I had it out earlier on, but right, there it is. <laughs> so you've got a couple of um, kind of Martha Stewart butterflies. They're kind of the reverse of each other, like duck egg blue and the coffee stained um, cardstock. And they're just layered up. And then you've got, oops, I missed that envelope completely. <laughs> And then you've got a little fabric item, which is a bird cage, and it's stamped onto fabric and then stitched onto the burlap or hessian. I need to Google really whether it's called burlap or hessian. I'm not really too sure. Um, and then you've got a couple of these oval frames, just stamped images. Love using these on my journals. I think they're really useful. <coughs> and then you've just got a couple of um, tiles. This one is actually a wooden tile. It's been covered with scrapbook paper and then it's had a little butterfly stamped and some script and been distress inked. And then this one is actually a chipboard tile and it's just been painted, stamped and distress inked up. 
So that's those. And then in the other pocket inside this kind of envelope sack. So you've got a little fold out kind of book just with this um, stamp on the front and that's in coffee stained. All of the um, cardstock or paper has been coffee stained or distress inked, most of it coffee stained. Um, then you've got this little envelope which is just from coffee stained paper and then it's been kind of glued so it's actually kind of attached and it's just got some decoupage napkin images on there. So the kind of colour scheme on this particular kit is um, this kind of ivory colour, you know, coffee stained ivory-ish colour. And then the stamps, um, I've mainly used brown, really dark brown stamps and then the other colour kind of is duck egg blue. Um, then you've got this kind of giant tag here that's been stitched on the sewing machine and it's just got this gorgeous white um, uh, fabric that's been stitched on over a book page and then it's got this gorgeous principle of this girl here it's got a little velvety kind of one of those flower things there is a name for those but I can't think what it is <laughs> it's just stuck on there and then it's just got a lace tab on the side then you've got a little booklet and this is made from greaseproof paper and then it's been stitched on the sewing machine and you've got a bit of that fabric again on there a stamped image, a little butterfly all stitched on and then obviously inside you've got some little pages in there nice to hold and touch and listen to then you've got a little stamped image of a frame and then you've got um, I used this in my last kit um, which I'd done actually ages ago and then forgot that I'd done them but actually I really love these so I've done a load more now, so they'll be featuring in my journals and my kits a bit more. Um, which is basically a kind of laminated printable or stamped image or die cut or whatever. And just laminated on and then stitched on either some scrapbook paper or in this case this sheet music. Um, I just think it looks really nice. I like the kind of different textures and I like the kind of see-through pocket but not completely see-through because it's obviously got the image or um, printable or whatever on there so I think that's really nice so this one's been stitched as I say onto the sheet music and then it's got some lace trim down the bottom done in a kind of ruffle um, and then on the back obviously it's just the plain sheet music so this could either be glued onto a page as a fixed pocket or it could be used as the Amity Bloom um, suggestion uh, of the phrase the floating pockets so you could kind of move it around in your book and obviously kind of put your items in there and then obviously put it in different pockets on your journal. So that's that one. Then you've got this lovely stamped um, image of like a jotter pad and that's just been glued on to this um, hessian or burlap and then I've just mod podged it just to make it kind of um, less fray, you know, less prone to fraying. And then it's just got some ribbon kind of up in the corner. That's just been stapled on. And then you've just got another stamped image there on some more coffee stained um, cardstock. And then you've got this giant tag here um, with again that gorgeous stamp. And it's in again duck eggy blue colour paper. And then it's got this gorgeous kind of, um, I don't know what you call that, but embellishment anyway, stock on there. And a gorgeous butterfly and a big flower. Um, it's got some fabric trim down the bottom and some of the faux de monte. It's got another Martha Stewart butterfly there. And then it's got one of those Tim Holtz metal um, charm things. This one says listen. And then it's just got some of that crinkly ribbon at the top. And then on the back it's just got a couple of stamped images. <coughs> and then um, the rest is kind of plain just for journaling. So that's the kit. So there's 20 items kind of in total. Um, plus obviously the kind of bag envelope sack thing itself so that's kit number one and these are obviously listed on my Etsy shop and then kit number two here um, this one is kind of um, coffee stained kind of different fabrics and lace um, trims so these are all vintage um, laces that were gifted to me by 
Um, again, my friend at work who's given me a whole load of things and um, yeah, really, really nice and very generous of her. So I've used those lots and lots. Um, so this has been gifted to me by her. It's all kind of proper, lovely vintage things. So I've just kind of coffee stained all of these that I've used here. Um, and I've used a kind of greeting card as the base for this kit. So it ties together with this gorgeous plum coloured velvet ribbon trim. So that's that. And then basically it's a greeting card um, that I have attached fabric to in the first instance. And then on top of the fabric, I have um, attached kind of various different lace trims and things. So on this one, it's got this gorgeous lace trim and then it's got part of a doily here. And then it's got a big chipboard tile, um, which I've just kind of covered with scrap bit paper and stamped. And then you've got a um, paper tag, which has been stitched on the sewing machine and it's just got some stamping and things. And then it's been attached with a bulb pin and a little kind of um, plum coloured pearl. It's got some burlap or hessian there underneath. And then on the back of that tag, it's just coffee dyed paper that you could just use for journaling. So this tag could obviously just be unpinned and used on your journals and things. This could obviously be um, peeled off, it's just glued on. And then all the fabric could just be peeled off, it's been kind of glued on, so you could use the lace trims and things. Um, and then inside the the envelope um, booklet thing itself, I've basically stuck this buff coloured paper down and then I've made some pockets with, um, I think it was card in the first place and then um, covered them with fabric. Actually, I'm totally lying. This one was actually made from an envelope, um, not a greeting card at all. So please ignore me there. Um, so basically, yeah, folded the envelope over and things and kind of made it from that. So inside you've got these different pockets. So on this pocket here, it's been covered with fabric and then lace. It's got this ribbon trim, and a little bow. And then inside you've got little um, kind of embellishment here that could be used as a pocket on a page. So just kind of glued. I just glue it obviously down these sides here and then use it as a tag like that. Then you've got this huge chipboard tile. Um, which says, no, board, no bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. That's a William Blake quote. Um, that's just been covered with scrapbook paper and distressed. So that's that. And then you've got an altered paper clip um, with some of that coffee stained vintage lace. And that's holding this um, cute coin envelope. But again, it's just been stitched on the sewing machine and then it's got various little bits layered up that were also stitched on the sewing machine. It's got some lace and some ribbon trim. And then inside it's just got a frame with a little stamped stamp. So there's that for your um, scrapbook or your journal. And then in the top there is another pocket. And inside that one there is another stamped image that's been again stitched on the sewing machine onto cardstock. And this one I've done as a fold down flap. So again, could be just glued onto your journal here, just on this kind of flat bit here. And then it's a flap down like that. Obviously, if you didn't want it as a flap, you could just glue it completely. So it's completely flat, make it a pocket in the side or whatever. Um, or if you didn't want that bottom bit at all, you could obviously feel free to just snip that off. It's just got some lace there. Um, but it's no big deal really, you could just kind of cut that off if you didn't want it like that. Then on the next side, there's then a burlap or hessian kind of pocket here. And then you've got a bit more of that kind of doily. And then you've got one of those puffed um, flower things that I can't remember the name of. That's there with a little brad in the middle. Um, and then you've got a bulb pin just attaching this cute layered up flower. And then inside this little pocket, you've got a little kind of um, just image really to use. You know, it's just a die cut and then a stamped image of a postcard to use on your journals. And then you've got a couple of chipboard tiles, which I'm now not going to be able to get those out. 
I really should kind of plan this better when I'm doing the videos. <laughs> There's one, and the other one, if I can get it out, yep. So there's a little bird, and they're just um, chipboard and covered with scrapbook paper and then stamped images on those, and then they've been inked up. So they just go in that pocket like that, along with this one. And then here in this pocket, you've got a stitched tag with some journaling space here. It's got a little lace tab at the top. And then on the back, I've just got some coffee stained paper there for journaling. So that's that. And then here you've just got a pull out tag just with a stamped image. So obviously the colour scheme on this album or this um, kit is kind of this plummy kind of colour, um, which I think is really nice. So here you've got a little fold out booklet with again this gorgeous um, I Love Paris image um, stamped on and then it's been stitched and got some lace around there and then it just folds out. So that's that. And then you've got what would be a kind of fabric pocket here, which it's just basically um, fabric. And then you've got a card um, stock stamped image of this postcard that's been stitched onto the fabric. And then you've got this lace trim that's also been stitched. And then there's a little fabric um, stamped image there of a butterfly that I've also stitched on. So this obviously, um, again, I would just glue simply round the edge and along here and up here and then just stick it onto the page kind of like that. So then it would be obviously a top loading pocket like that. So that's that one. And then on the back, you've got this gorgeous... Um, little kind of fabric collage-y thing. So it's got a bit of the coffee stained lace there, the vintage lace, and then it's got a bit of this gorgeous velvet ribbon trim. And then it's got one of those little kind of flower bits from the doily. And that's all kind of held together with the uh, bulb pin and a little kind of pearl in the kind of plum color. And then it's just been safety pinned with a rusted safety pin onto the actual kind of envelope um, itself. So again, that can just be unpinned and then the whole lot kind of used in your journals, either as a little collage like that, or obviously take it apart and use it in bits. And then finally, you've got another one of these altered paper clips here, which again has got more of that um, coffee stained lace. And this one's got some of the ribbon trim there. And um, yeah, I quite liked that actually, quite a nice paper clip. And that was holding this giant tag of this beautiful girl um, from some napkins that I've decoupaged onto obviously sheet music and then stitched them round onto, I think these were kind of like some cards giving um, details of like rocks and minerals. So I've <laughs> um, stitched it onto those for a giant tag there. Uh, love this image it's got this pretty kind of pink shades on her lips as well so it kind of just tones nicely with the colors of the kit really um, and then it's just got this pink kind of fabric tab and then up here there's a bit of kind of lacy kind of trim um, and then on the back it's just got a little bit of decoupage napkin off some script um, and then the sheet music obviously you could just kind of roughly paint over this and then journal or um, you know glue some paper over it or just leave it kind of plain just for decorative or stick it down like a pocket um, you know that would be quite quite nice I think so that's the kit again there should be 20 items in total um, and obviously you could also you know disassemble the um, like envelope itself and obviously use all the fabric trims and, and whatnot so I hope you liked it and again that one's on my Etsy shop so um, yeah thanks for watching and please leave comments and things. Thanks a lot.